Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's turn on my little extra light here. This is Mandy and I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a 12 inch swipe. Um I'm actually swiping over a Dutch pour that didn't dry evenly on an MDF round. So normally I use cradle wood boards, but I'm using this MDF round. So and I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to do a beetle's back swipe. I love doing beetle's back. Um, but I'm going to do a swipe this time instead of the bloom. So we have our pillow paint laid down. And I thought I just saw a goober in the paint. So maybe not. So this is Walmart Color Place Satin. And <clears throat> I'm going to do a puddle of mostly black with a little bit of indigo and diox purple in it. So, just so that we have a little bit of variety of color in the background. I'm a little nervous about this because lately my experiments have not been the greatest. So, so that's black, carbon black from Atelier Interactive. <clears throat> This is indigo from Matisse. And the, the colors that we're gonna to use today to give us the bling it, I'm sorry, we're using bling it colors from the bling it set, but to give us the beetles back interference look is we're gonna use the four black or grayish black pearl colors from the glass wing set from Color Art. <clears throat> I'm trying to use up some paint that I have mixed up. Um, Diox purple kind of tends to take over, so I'm just trying to drizzle it a little bit. In the background, I realize I have a lot more black around the edges and I'm probably gonna lose that. So, but I figured, um, We'll diversify our colors in the background a little bit. And then I'm gonna put some of those colors on the, I'm gonna put mostly black on the top, so. Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm gonna stand on the stool so I can talk to y'all and show you the colors. So here is Luna. So these are in like a grayish pearl base but that gray color doesn't show, like when it dries. Super beautiful. I'm just gonna kind of lay it on really thick and swirl it around. That's Luna. So that's a, a smoky pearl with a violet interference. And this one is Rain. So this is a smoky pearl with a green interference. Don't forget you can save 20% off of anything on the Color Art website with my code Mandy1120. It's in the description box below. And you know me, I'm a color art junkie. All right. Oops, not worried about that. I'm going to go bling crazy. Next up is Angel Wings, which has a blue shift. It's so pretty. And the light's not picking up all of the shift. Sometimes these bright lights don't do the pigments any justice, you know? So I'm really laying it on thick. I probably don't need this much paint, but... <clears throat> and last but not least is Aurora, which has a reddish peach shift. Love it. And just getting really good coverage here. Probably going to finish this one up. This one is one of my favorites, so if I'm a little heavy-handed with it, you understand why. I think we'll just maybe finish this one up. 
Okay, so I'm going to load my palette knife and I'm going to use mostly white cell activator. So I'm going to put a little bit of black on top of all of this. I am going to, I have like a couple of drops of black left. So I'm going to go ahead and throw them on there with my palette knife. But let me pop a couple bubbles. Bubbles. Okay. And so I'm going to load my palette knife after I add some more black to the top of this, and we're gonna, just going to swoosh it all over the surface, and then we'll spin. So I've seen other artists do this, but I've never actually done a swipe this way. I've done like the traditional swipes, negative space swipes, uh, but I've never done one quite this way. So I'm going to go ahead and put carbon black, drizzle it over the top of this. And then I'm going to kind of start where I'm going to start swiping. Because the way this interferes with this is going to make a difference. Okay. I'm so nervous. So I'm a little more heavy handed up here with the black. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the black. Move some of this stuff out of the way. I think. I probably should have used up the rain. We only have a little bit left. I don't like to leave like a very tiny bit in the cup because if you don't use it too soon, it'll dry up just because there's not enough substance in there. And um, I don't like to waste anything. I'd rather have more bling than waste. Okay, so I'm using my Color Art palette knife today. So I'm going to put the white down first because I want it to be the last color because we're going to swipe. So we have to reverse everything. And then I have a couple of, like, I have hardly any of this black left. So part of me is thinking I should just skip the black altogether. Maybe I will. So I'm just spreading it over my palette knife. I want to have enough so when I swipe, I have decent coverage. I do use a lot more cell activator when I swipe because you need it to cover a different surface than a little bloomy puddle, you know? So I have like maybe a couple of drops left of black. So maybe I'll just, you know what? It's like so old. I've had it mixed up for a little bit, so I'm just stringing it through the white just a little bit because I don't want it to mess anything up. But since we're doing a swipe and not a bloom, our top puddle where we normally put a top puddle of black, we kind of have to compensate for that a little bit. All right, so this is kind of what it looks like. It looks like a little polka dot. Okay, so we're gonna do this. I'm gonna take my time because I'm not great at these. Okay, not awesome, could be worse. I was super nervous about that. Sometimes I see people just swoosh, 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 and I'm like, let me tell you what would happen if I do that. Just trying to break the surface tension on my white just a little bit. Sorry if I'm in the way.
I have better cell action over here. I hope you guys can see. I hope this stupid autofocus isn't doing the thing that it does. Oy. Sorry about the noise. Move you a little bit further up. So I have better cell action over here than over here. <clears throat> so I'm just kind of favoring where we have the best reaction. Now before I spin, I'm just gonna break the surface tension of the white in a couple of places. That actually might be pillow paint that I'm blowing, not cell activator. So. Okay. I figured since we're painting over this MDF, we would take more of a risk than we probably would otherwise. I think this is pillow paint because there was one part where I didn't do the greatest job swiping. So that's okay. All right, let's spin it gently and see what happens. Sorry about that noise. My, um, oh good, I'm gonna get rid of that white part my press and seal on the bottom is loose from my last pour. So I love the lacing on the outside. I don't particularly like where these cells are so big. On my right. So I'm going to kind of try to favor the parts that I like the best. And so now the part that's facing you is where that white pillow part is. So let's, let's get rid of some of that without doing it all at once because there's some beautiful cell action there and I don't want to lose it. So I'm going to gently spin knowing that I'm going to lose some of that, but I don't want to lose everything. I really should have redone my uh, spinner. This is kind of cool. I like it. I should have redone my spinner because as I slow it down, I'm touching the press and seal and I'm afraid it's gonna splatter paint on the top. So you probably can't see some of the detail from where you are. Um, I gotta get more paint off. I still don't like the giant cells. I like, the sm I like kind of the medium and the smaller ones where the lacing is. So I'm just gonna Spin just a little bit. There's also one part where I kind of have like almost like a ribbon where I didn't do the greatest job swiping, but I still like it. And I like that I used black and indigo and diox purple because they're all represented there. Um, so that's also a little bit different for me. Um, I saw Shelly do one of these and she did, um, the black and the diox purple and it had a lot of contrast so I thought that was kind of neat and I thought well maybe I'll try something similar and just use the blue and the purple so I, I kind of want it to be done I don't want to keep spinning but I think we have too much paint still on so we're gonna just gently spin a little bit I don't want to lose much more. I've already lost some of the good parts. We still have a little bit too much paint, but this is a wood surface, so I might be able to get away with that. With a canvas, you kind of have to be a little bit more sure. But with wood, it dries a little bit more evenly. Let me pop some bubbles. I gotta wash my hands off. Yikes. But I like it. I hope you guys like it. Yikes. This MDF doesn't want to stay put on my little um my little silicone pad. It keeps trying to move on its own. 
I like it, you guys. I'm very pleasantly surprised with this. And the big cells in the center, which are kind of the more medium size now, they have so much um, depth of color because there's so many different colors represented in them. So they're really very cool looking. And I kind of like that we have, I can't really show you because I have such dirty hands right now. I kind of like where we have like this ribbon looking effect here where I maybe didn't do the greatest job swiping. So let me clean my hands, pop a couple bubbles, and I'll bring you down for a close-up. All right, everyone, so here's our close-up. I really love the way it turned out. I hope you do too. Look at all that detail. So pretty. Sorry, people outside are being noisy. These colors are phenomenal, you guys. This is part of the Glass Wings Bling It set. And they are blingy, let me tell you. I really love it. And these parts right here where the cells are a little bit larger have so much color in them. Check it out. And I got rid of the super big ones, most of them which is good for me. Oh, I love it. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Did you like this? Thank you so much for watching and all your continued support. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe and like, and leave me a comment. Let me know you're here. Um, don't forget about the discount codes in the description box below. And our Fluid Art Friends Facebook group link is also below. I'd love for you to join and share your art with us. It's a great group of wonderful artists and art appreciation. So thank you guys so much again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll get you a little up-close shot of all that color. I just think it turned out really nicely. For something I haven't ever really tried before, Considering how bad my comb over swipe attempts were the other day, I'm really happy to have it turn out this way. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Appreciate you all. Have a great day. Bye.